Now, a court in Malaysia has dropped all corruption charges against the Deputy Prime Minister, Ahmed Zahid Hamidi, who was on trial for 47 counts of bribery, money laundering and a criminal breach of trust. Florence Louis has more. The public prosecutor had applied for a discharge not amounting to an acquittal, and one of the reasons cited was to enable a more comprehensive investigation to be carried out against Zahid Hamidi, the Deputy Prime Minister of Malaysia. Now, this case has generated quite a lot of interest because Zahid is one of several high-ranking officials to be charged with corruption in 2018. That's the year the UMNO party, which had never lost an election previously, was voted out of power because of widespread anger over corruption. Zahid's former boss, the former Prime Minister of Malaysia, Najib Razak, is currently serving a prison sentence after being found guilty of graft. But UMNO, of which Zahid is party president, is back in power. Last year, it joined forces with a coalition led by Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim, part of the very alliance that had defeated UMNO in 2018. Anwar's coalition did not win enough seats after last year's general election, and it needed and still needs UMNO to form government. Now, last September, Zahid was acquitted in a separate bribery case after the judge ruled there had been insufficient evidence against him. In this case, however, because what he's been granted is a discharge not amounting to an acquittal, that still means the prosecution can still bring those same charges against him in the future. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Kuala Lumpur.